Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, let us discuss about one more interesting topic that is viral content. So when uh, we can say that a content has gone viral, when it reaches out to the massive audience within a shorter period of time. Kadme samethali tumba janara attraction adho hundi dhendra adho namu viral content adha karitivi. You would have seen any of the songs, any of the reels, it will get viral within a minute. So when it happens like that, so those contents are known as viral content. So, so if any of the contents which goes viral within a shorter period of time, then it is known as viral content. So now let us discuss about the features of or the characteristics of this viral content. First one is shareability. So as you know that the viral content will always have a broader audience where many of the audience will share that content with others. So that creates its own networks. So it automatically get more views, automatically it will get shared by the people. So that's the shareability feature. Second one is emotional resonance. So usually the viral content will touch the emotions of the viewers. So suppose if it's a joy or the surprise or uh, something, it will be like the shocking thing or which makes the people scare, some reels. So that what people will do, they will share that to other customers and want other people to get scared. So this becomes more, more, more uh, shareable when there's an emotional re resonance in your content. Next, relevance and timeliness. So next, the viral content will be, of course, based on the current trendings. According to the current trends, the viral content should be designed so if it matches the current events or current scenario current trending matters then even it will get viral so that relevance and timeliness should be there it should capture the attention of the larger audience next is creativity and originality so usually the viral content when it's get uh, viral is when it is something new something innovation have been done and something creativity have been used in that so if it is original content then it gets uh, viral very fast so the creativity and original origin originality also plays a very important role so that the content goes viral next is simplicity and accessibility so simplicity it should be very simple and audience should be very easily they have to understand that then only it will get reached to the very wide audience if it is complicated you know it doesn't get reached to many audience then accessibility so it should be a, it should get the audience from various countries various states among diverse demographics so then only we can say that the content has gone viral next we have community participation Usually those contents, you know, in which when people can also participate, people can also respond, people can sh uh, show their review and all, you know, they can have a conversation. So such type of content have the high chance of getting viral. So community participation is also one of the features of viral content. Next, cross-platform appeal. Suppose the same content you have to be you you should be able to use in various social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and all. So when it is able, we are able to share it to many social media platforms. Again, we get the audience from various platform sources. So when we have audience from various other platform sources, again, again, it gets the attention of many, many, many audience. That is how the content goes viral. So cross-platform appeal is also one of the uh, characteristics of viral content. Next, let us look into what are the factors contributing to virality. What makes uh, content goes viral? First one is social sharing algorithm. So what happens is usually, so in your phone, suppose you are, uh, you are very interested in watching train videos. So if you just open your YouTube, you will get all the videos suggesting train videos only. So similarly, uh, accordingly what happens is the algorithm automatically gets to know what are your taste and preferences. So when it knows what are your taste and preferences, automatically it will give the suggestion of only those informations or those things which you like the most. So 
this algorithms makes the content goes viral next is influencer amplification so what is this influencer application means some people will collaborate with the celebrities and celebrities also will share certain contents so because the celebrity will have many followers and many wide fan base so many audiences you can catch there so the influencers applic uh, amplification so when you have the collaboration with the influencers or with the celebrities there is a very high chance for your content to get viral so this is also one of the factor contributing to the virality of your content next you have user generated content so what is this user generated uh, content is suppose sometime what it happens is uh, suppose if you have created any content naturally without using any artificial intelligence or any system physically you have done certain things okay which is known as user content you are the primarily you have only created that content so that has a high chance to become viral so the user created content has a high chance of becoming viral so that also one of the factor which makes the content to go viral next you have unexpected elements so sometimes uh, what happens is uh, like what you can say yes you don't have unexpected that the post will go viral but it would have gone viral so they can certain unexpected uh, uh, this thing environment also and unexpected elements which makes your content goes viral you wouldn't have expected that to reach many or that much audience or that much fan base but it would have been reached so that is also one of the factors that makes the content goes viral next cultural relevance so what is this cultural relevance is so if your content is related to any of the culture because many people love the culture so when your content is also relevant to the culture there's a high chance of your uh, what do you say content to go viral so if your con uh, the relevant uh, it, it is a relevance of culture so you have focus about culture also in your content then again you can have the wider range of uh, audience so there will be a broad wider range of audience when your content is related to culture also so this is also one of the uh, what do you say factors next one of the important thing which you have to focus is caution and responsibility suppose sometimes the negative content will also get viral no doubt but you should be very conscious and you should very you should be responsible while posting certain contents on the social media because it should not harm the emotions of other people it should not create the con controversies so you should be very 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 careful while handling while posting the contents on the social media platforms so having cautious uh, caution and responsibility also is one of the important factor that we have to focus on so this was about the viral content the characteristics of viral content and what are the factors affecting the viral content hope you have understood this video very well in my next video i'll come back with more concepts of this particular chapter